everybody today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series I'll be going through question 2 okay in my channel I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there okay so let's jump straight into question 2 okay so question 2 so this question actually has two methods to solve it so I'll be going through method 1 right now and this method is the model method okay so let's read the question first Malik paid $945 for a table and for chairs a table means one table okay the price of a chair was two seventh the price of a table okay how much did Malik pay for the table okay this question is awarding us two marks so now since that we have read the question let's highlight the key information so Malik paid $945 for a table and four chairs. The price of a chair was two seventh of the price of the table. Okay. And how much did Malik pay for the table? So these are the key information. Okay. So now, since that we have underlined or highlighted the key information, now we can move on to solving the question. So first step, we need to draw the model. In the model method, we should always draw the model first. So this is the model over here. So four chairs is actually, um, this, all of them, is two units over here but you need to understand why is there two units because over here two units represent the chair and these seven units represent the table okay so this is very important that you should know in order for you to draw the model so this is one chair okay so this is one unit okay and so the table is seven units. So all of these are seven units in total. And all of the chairs counted in total is eight units. So one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit, five unit, six unit, seven unit, eight unit. So all of this is eight units. Okay. And so over here, the table is also seven units. Let's check it. One, two, three, four five six seven so the table is also seven units okay so basically we just need to count them all up or you could actually eight units plus seven units because you have count them separately so eight units plus seven units is 15 units or if you count them all up it's also 15 units so that's basically no difference so 15 units is equal to 945 dollars okay so after you get a certain number of units, right, if you know if this many units is equal to that amount, okay, so you must always find one unit, always find one unit, okay, so you find one unit over here, so $945 divided by 15, you get $63, which is one unit, okay, so we know that the table is seven units, Malik paid for the table, he only paid for one table, that's why one table is seven units over here okay so one table is seven units so now we just find seven units so seven units is equal to 63 times 7 63 is one unit okay so 63 dollars times 7 is equal to 441 dollars and this is the answer okay let's move on to method two so Let's um, highlight the information again so that it will be easier to cross-reference, okay? So I'll highlight it really quickly. So, how much did Malik pay for the table? Okay, so this is the key information. So we can move on to solving this question with this method of number times value so i think this method is a bit different to you all um i think you would not have heard of this method 
So I'll teach you along the way. Okay. So first step into solving number times value, we should always list the ratio of number and the ratio of value. So basically, number means the quantity. Okay. And value means the price in this context. Okay. So quantity times price. So that's the same thing. Okay. So we list down value and number. So we know that value is actually one chair means two units and one table means seven units. Okay. And for the number, she Malik only bought one table and four chairs. So this is the number four chairs and one table. Okay, so we list down the ratios chair is to table. So the value of one chair is two units and the value of one table is seven units. So two units and seven units. And the number is one table and four chairs. So I represented table as just the first letter T and I represented chairs the first letter as C. So four chairs and one table. So basically now right, we, we must find the total units in total because this is only representing one chair. But this is four chairs in total. So we just list down the first equation first. Okay, so that is one table plus four chairs is equal to $945. Okay, so I think you understand this. Next, we must know that one table is seven units, right? Because this is connected, one table is seven units. Mother only bought one table and one table costs seven units. So we do not need to change it. So it's just one times seven. And a chair is two units in price, but Malik bought four chairs. So basically we need to take four chairs times two units. So four times two. So this is equal to $945. So seven units plus eight units. So okay. So one times seven is seven and four times two is eight. So seven units plus eight units is equal to $945. So pretty much from now is the same as the first method. So we take so 7 units plus 8 units is 15 units. So it's equal to $945. So as I've told you, always find 1 unit. Okay, so you find 1 unit, which is 63. So it's $945 divided by 15, which is equal to $63. And so we know that Malik only bought 1 table. So 1 table is equal to 7 units, right? So from now on, we just need to find 7 units. So it's just basically $63, one unit times seven, which is equal to $441. And this is the answer. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to solve this question. And from this video, I hope that you have learned that solving a question does not just mean you have to follow a strict method, but actually there are many methods to solve questions. And you can choose the methods to solve them at your comfort. Okay, so I hope you have learned something from this video. And I hope you have benefited from this video. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.